Tesla shatters expectations once again, this time by slashing charging costs by a staggering 70%. Enter their latest innovation, a groundbreaking charging product that redefines the electric vehicle landscape. But how has Tesla achieved this remarkable feat? What technology lies behind this game-changing advancement? Join us as we uncover the electrifying details and unveil the future of EV charging. Big news in the world of electric vehicles. Let's talk about National Electric Vehicle Infrastructure Funding, or NEVI for short. This is a massive $5 billion funding initiative that was included in the infrastructure law passed in late 2021. The funding comes from the federal government, but it's up to individual states to handle the proposals and distribute the money. Now, there are two states making headlines with their NEVI updates, Pennsylvania and Maine. What's really caught our attention is that Tesla, a company known for its electric cars, has decided to jump into the charging game in a big way in both these states. This move comes as a bit of a surprise because previously we hadn't heard much about Tesla going after funding for charging stations. Let's start with Pennsylvania. They've just announced the results of their first round of approvals for charging station projects. A total of 54 projects got the green light, and they're going to receive around $34 million in funding. These are just the initial projects, mind you. Pennsylvania plans to spend a lot more over the next five years. Here's where Tesla comes into play. Out of those 54 projects, Tesla has secured approvals for a whopping 12 of them. That's nearly a quarter of all the projects. Pennsylvania set a rule that no single company could get more than 25% of the projects, so Tesla could have actually gone for even more. It's clear they're seriously interested in being a part of the charging infrastructure in this state. But what's really interesting is the funding per project. On average, Tesla is getting about $227,000 per charging station project. Sounds pretty good, right? However, when you look at the other projects that aren't from Tesla, they're getting around $740,000 on average per project. At first glance, it might seem like Tesla is getting the short end of the stick in terms of funding. But here's the twist. The funding amounts are actually based on proposals that companies submit. It seems like Tesla is just really efficient when it comes to these kinds of projects, so they can make things happen with less funding. It's less about favoritism and more about recognizing Tesla's ability to get things done in a cost-effective way. Let's take a closer look at the recent developments in the electric vehicle charging scene and how Tesla's unique approach is setting the stage for a transformative shift. The funding dynamics and project allocations reveal a fascinating story that goes beyond the surface numbers. Tesla's funding per charging project is notably lower compared to other companies. While this might raise eyebrows at first, it actually hints at Tesla's remarkable efficiency when it comes to executing charging projects. If we assume that funding allocations reflect project costs to some extent, it suggests that Tesla is accomplishing these projects at a staggering 30% less cost than the average. This speaks volumes about Tesla's strategic cost management and innovative solutions in the charging realm. Diving into the details, the NEVI funding framework adds an extra layer of intrigue. Companies seeking funding need to contribute at least 20% of the project funds themselves, creating an incentive to keep their funding requests reasonable. Tesla's lower funding requests might indicate a deliberate strategy to maximize their cost efficiency while also securing the matching portion without overburdening their own investment. Maine is another player in this electrifying narrative. With approximately $6 million in funding, they've awarded seven charging projects. Tesla, again, stands out by claiming two of these projects. Though specific funding details aren't available for Maine, the trend seems consistent with Pennsylvania, indicating Tesla's ability to maintain their efficient approach. But there's more to the story. While the funding sums in these initial cases might appear modest, it's important to remember that these states represent just the tip of the iceberg. The NEVI initiative spans several years, with these states being early adopters. As more states follow suit, we can expect a broader picture to emerge, shedding light on Tesla's overarching strategy and its potential influence on the EV charging landscape. Continuing our journey into the rapidly evolving landscape of electric vehicle charging, a series of updates and decisions are shaping the course of the industry. Let's delve into the details of these recent developments.
First up, let's switch gears from NEVI to NACS, the North American Charging Standard. Fisker, the forward-thinking automaker, has just made a bold announcement. Starting in 2025, their vehicles will natively adopt the NACS standard. While this aligns with the decisions of other manufacturers, there's a subtle distinction. Most have indicated that an adapter for existing supercharging networks will be available by 2024. Fisker, however, states that their adapter will hit the market in the first quarter of 2025. This underlines Fisker's commitment to embracing the NACS standard and catering to their customers' charging needs. This shift in approach is noteworthy in itself, yet there's more to the charging puzzle. Taking a closer look at the relationship between charging providers, Rivian's CEO RJ Scaring provided a glimpse behind the scenes. During an earnings call, he clarified that the connection between charging networks doesn't involve data transfer. Instead, it's a streamlined charging relationship where Rivian customers access the network and handle payments directly. This insight sheds light on the operational intricacies behind charging partnerships and highlights the meticulous planning that goes into crafting seamless charging experiences for customers. Shifting focus to Tesla's shop, a new star has appeared, the Universal Wall Connector. This innovation marries the functionality of the Tesla Wall Connector with a built-in J1772 adapter, catering to a wider array of electric vehicles. Much like the magic of a docking station, this connector offers flexibility. Users can either pull out the NACS charger on its own or opt for the connector complete with the adapter. This product addition further demonstrates Tesla's commitment to enhancing the accessibility of their charging solutions and advancing the electric mobility ecosystem. Now, let's delve even deeper into the intricacies of recent developments uncovering the details that shape the course of the electric vehicle industry. Imagine having multiple EVs or simply desiring the flexibility to support various connector types. The Universal Wall Connector, a new addition to Tesla's shop, is a prime solution. Priced at $595, it offers the convenience of accommodating different EV connector types. This innovation becomes especially appealing for small businesses or those with multiple electric vehicles. In comparison, the standard wall connector is priced at $475. This product not only showcases Tesla's commitment to accessibility, but also serves as a testament to their drive to cater to a broader user base. Shifting gears, let's zoom in on Tesla's developments in China. Reports from credible sources indicate that Tesla is poised to introduce its full self-driving, FSD technology to the Chinese market. Plans are reportedly underway to establish a local operations team comprising approximately 20 individuals to spearhead the FSD's entry into China. This aligns with earlier rumors and speculations, painting a picture of Tesla's concerted efforts in the FSD arena. The deployment of engineers from Tesla's headquarters for training underscores the company's intention to prioritize these advancements. Although these efforts are still taking shape, the buzz around the FSD's China venture speaks volumes about its significance in Tesla's global strategy. Interestingly, Tesla's focus on data centers also grabs our attention. Reports reveal that Tesla has posted a job listing for a senior engineering program manager for data centers in Austin, Texas. The description hints at ambitious plans, designing and engineering Tesla's innovative data centers. This move underscores Tesla's commitment to vertical integration and data localization. These data centers will likely play a pivotal role in advancing FSD capabilities, a goal that necessitates robust data infrastructure. Speaking of data centers, Tesla's recent comments on data localization hold importance. In response to reports of access restrictions for vehicles with sentry mode, Tesla emphasized its localized data handling approach in China. This commitment to keeping data within the country aligns with regulatory requirements and is crucial for the progression of FSD endeavors. In a nutshell, these recent developments paint a vivid picture of Tesla's forward-thinking initiatives. From introducing versatile charging solutions to strategic FSD expansions in China and investments in data centers, Tesla's multifaceted approach is propelling the electric vehicle landscape into a new era. The intricate puzzle pieces are falling into place, promising a future of innovation, efficiency, and enhanced mobility.
So, what are your thoughts about Tesla's consistent efforts to make charging easier and more affordable? Share with us in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, show us some love by hitting that like button and leaving a comment down below. Also, if you're a fan of all things technology, be sure to check out this other video we've got lined up for you. It's packed with all the latest news, tips, and tricks to keep you ahead of the curve.